Good morning, family. I hope you're doing well today and you're having a blessed, blessed week. And I wanted to read to you our word for the day. It is found in 1 John 4, verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Amen and amen. So in continuation of some scriptures that we've been doing over the past couple of weeks, I wanted to continue on the topic of trust. And that is trusting in God. So we read this often, but I love this one. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6. Wonderful reminder for us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Here is Jeremiah 17 verses 7 through 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Amen. Psalm 56, verse 3. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Yes, so we can replace trust, or I should say we should replace being fearful, having anxiety, having fear, replace it with trusting in him. So whenever we feel fear coming, you know, that's the enemy trying to bring it to us. You can just say this scripture, whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you, Lord. Keep saying it, keep saying it until you trust in God and that fear is banished. Amen. We've done this one before. Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Let's finish off with Isaiah 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Amen. Oh, I love that verse. I think I'm going to read it again. <laughs> when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. So for anyone going through any challenge this week, take hold of Isaiah 43 verse 2. And I pray that the flame does not scorch you that the rivers won't overflow over you and that through the waters, the Lord will be with you. And if there's any fire that you will not be burned in Jesus mighty name. Oh, that was so encouraging. I hope that blessed you. That truly blessed me family. I pray for you a victorious day in Jesus name on this Tuesday choose to trust in the Lord. Amen. God bless you, family.